So we're still in the hotel. What are these boxes for? Is it just decoration? No. The, 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 this box on the table. So I've seen them in other, um, in other rooms as well. In other save rooms, I should say. Oh, uh, it's fine. We're in the hotel. Uh, we were going to go, where were we going to go? Not here. We were going to go, um, Was it 24 or 23? I think it was 24, wasn't it? Unless it was 219. Either way, we're still looking around. Wait, now I want to go this way. This is, this is back. I want to go forward. Forward! Because uh, one of these had... One of these had um, a weird door. Are you good? Jesus. Take your time, Alan. There's no escape. Jeez, there's a lot. There was a lot in here today. I do need bullets. Um, I know this said like. Is it up here? Is it in the um? Is it in the in the rug? Question is, how do I move the rug? To me, if it was real life, I could just move the rug, but this is not real life. Thought maybe. Um, let's go in here. I thought, you know, break the vase, find something. Ooh. What was that? What was that just now? Can I not? Can I not open this? Hello? Why is it? There we go. That was weird. Like, get the right angle for it. Oh my god, are we full again? I think we're, we're constantly full. Uh, get rid of the flare gun ammo for now. Not, I'm gonna get rid of it, I'm just gonna put it away. Uh, this way. And then this way. There's something in here? I actually can't tell. I don't think I... I don't, I don't think that there's something in here, is there? Because, um... There's not a, a circle here, right? So, no. I, I don't think that there's actually anything in here. I think that we're done. I think we've got everything that's in here. I don't know what this... Arrow is for. I don't know how to... If there's a way to... Move the rug. 
sound? What's going on here? What's that sound? What is that sound? I mean, I'm not really. I don't know. It could. It, it's, it's possible there's some way to remove the rug, and I just don't know what it is. But I don't know. I don't think so. Let's go get rid of this stuff. I'm. Gonna, I don't like having a full inventory. I don't like it. I don't like it. Um. Keeping the flares because they're actually useful for when something actually, you know, grabs me. Um, I don't think that we can go in the stairway yet. Uh, I think it must be 219 that had the weird stuff. So we'll, we'll go ahead and look at that. We can look at the stairs and see if we can go in, but I don't think so. I think they're, I think they're, um... I think they're blocked off, yeah. Everything's blocked off. Right, let's go into 219. Uh There we go. This is the the weirdness. We 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 didn't really do anything in here last time, did we? The rehearsal room. This is just like another room. <sighs> then again, I... <sighs> should we do stuff in here now? Or should we wait? It's 202. So that opened 202. Uh, we got in to see Tim, right? I think that we did. Let's, um... Let's go to the ballroom for the moment. Screw it. Let's do the rehearsal room. Let's do the ballroom. Let's do rehearsal. Rehearsal is before the ballroom, right? They're setting up in the ballroom. But the rehearsal room is where they rehearse. So, show ritual. Another vision. Another idea. Hmm. Why set up a play in a hotel? Why this hotel? Because the rent is cheap? No. The ocean view was perfect for this. It's said to be haunted. Dark stories about murder, death, suicide. Supposedly, an actual cult once performed an unspeakable ritual to summon something in the ballroom. Did we summon the same thing? tapped into something horrifying it it seemed like it was part of the play but it wasn't does that sound crazy you don't want to ask me about crazy kid a haunted hotel yes interesting so now reason. yeah now we can we can make the hotel haunted great great wonderful I'm so glad that we can make the hotel haunted if we want to. We will have to do. I'm sure. Really, there's no other way out here? Okay. I guess we're leaving. If I leave that like that and go into... Whoops. Right. And go into um, 202, is it going to be different? Because I've opened 202 now, right? Uh, literally right there. Get out of here. Get out. Okay, never mind. <laughs> you're 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 a real one. Are you a real one? Probably are, aren't you? No, you're not. Are any of you real? You real? No. None of you are real. Just the one. Uh, yeah, it's different. Okay. Is there any 
anything new to be gained in here. No, I don't know. If I were if I were a developer, I'm not trying to tell Remedy what to do. If I were a developer, I'd definitely put something right here on the on the mantle. Just just you know, just a little a little extra thing to say, oh, we know that you were thinking that this room would be changed. Here's a reward for giving it some thought. They didn't though. Those bastards. Those tough as nails bastards. Um, we can make it haunted. We don't necessarily need to make it haunted right now. Let's go to the ballroom first. Let's go to the ballroom. Let's let's try to exhaust all of the um. Pre-show ritual uh, things first. going on in here. You guys keep it down over there? There are people trying to sleep and investigate cult murders. <laughs> We're so noisy. The ballroom would be the stage of a key scene in the play. There's a key. 101, okay. Save. The shoe box. Do I need to use it? No. It's a little bit like the shining bar, but it's not. It's it's not it's not the same. It's it's reminiscent, but it's definitely not the same. Again, I kind of imagine a lot of um a lot of fancy hotel bars probably look not unlike this, you know? around for anything else going on before I uh, go up on stage. I don't see anything wrong. Uh, testes, testes, one, two, three. Let's do this. Let's, um, hello. Hey. Nice. Word of st stuff. More called Nibre resources and points of interest in Wake's map. Expand Alan's inventory by one row. Uh, I mean, yes. There's no, absolutely no question about that. I have one word of war as well. Increases damage up with the last bullet in revolver chamber. Increases double burst shotgun by 20%, 25% when hitting multiple enemies in one shot. Eh. Sword 15% of max health landing a direct hit with a flare gun. That's not bad when I use a flare gun. Let's do this for now, even though I still, I try not to be, you know, out of bullets, but. Oh my god. <laughs> we have full inventory now, or I should say an open. A, a fully open inventory. Oh, I feel so good now. That was so great. Let's um let's do this. Uh, let's do pre-show ritual first. How many people do they have uh, attending this? It's a full hotel. I imagine they book the hotel solid, right? Or you know, people who were who were attending this book the hotel. The cult in the play was called the Cult of the Tree. With their deer masks, they were the backwoods echo of the cult of the words urban horror. So there we go. There's the... What I was... What I honestly just was... I, I, I must not have been paying enough attention. Oh, look, I can just go right up onto the... <laughs> Correct, on the table. I must not have been paying attention because um, I, didn't, I didn't realize that they had called it the Cult of the Word at first. And then later on, they started calling it the Cult of the Tree. It was the same people, though. The people at the at the start of the game, who who killed, um, returned slash taken. 
Question mark? Uh, Nightingale. We're called the Cult of the Word. And I think those are the same people. So somewhere along the way, their name changed. Rehearsal room in 202. Yeah, we've done that before. Get your marks, keep your masks on, make it weird. So I'm kind of assuming whatever it was is 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 a, a change. It's it's changing for whatever reason. Well, we can make it haunted up here if we want to. Um, I suppose we should. <laughs> Don't want to, but we will. It's getting real, all right. I recognize my writer's room on the stage. Yeah, I, I see that. Do I, do I want to do that right now, though? I can't. I said you got here. What was the scene in this room? Well, this is what we call the writer's room. In the play, it's where the devil rewrites reality whilst God is asleep. The devil was our star role. I got a big-time celebrity to play him. <laughs> Alan he Wake. was method acting the role to perfection. He never broke character, always wore the coat mask. His name was scratched out on the posters. Mm -hmm. And who was this mystery celebrity? Let me guess, Alan Wake? I wish I could tell you, but turns out there were masks upon masks. Whoever he really was? Shit got weird when he was around. Scratch. Some of the yeah. crew joked that we'd actually hired the devil to play himself. Mm, Mr. Scratch is the devil. He was born to play the role. That makes sense. They did say that he, he scratched his uh, name out. That. Um, oh god. Oh good, there are so many here. Yes, that's me. Oh, okay. No, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It was a preemptive, uh... Are you real? You are real. Oh god, I'm a little bit, um... Jesus. What if I go in here? If I just meander my way in here real quick. Um, I know that I can use the, uh, devil in here, but, like... I, I don't know how much it's going to push progress forward, you know? Um... So I kind of want to go exploring other rooms first and get everything I can before we start pushing, uh, pushing the story. Let's do that. Let's see these rooms. Let's just go. That guy can bite me. He would he would try to bite me probably. Uh let's go to room 101 and see what the deal is with room 101. And then we'll also go to the uh we'll go to the rehearsal room and see what haunted is. I know I'm kind of going back and forth quite a bit, but like I don't you know, I want to do everything I can before I push things forward. Um Right in front of me. Wake. Yeah. Are you real, sir? Summer. I've forgotten ideas. Oh, it's good. Oh, it will work. 
Did we see this one already? Outside. <laughs> really loving these empty loot boxes. Oh, someone left <laughs> the water running. Uh... Okay. Um. Sorry, I was thinking. Um. Is there a hand flare over there I just missed? Echo there that I haven't uh, been able to see because I haven't been able to get into the stairwell. Um. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go up to rehearsal and do um, haunted. And see if that does anything. And then... Um, no, you know what? We'll do Haunted here. We'll do Haunted here at the entrance hall first. Because we're here. forgot that this was a place. We'll do Haunted here. After we... I know I don't need to put stuff away so much right now, but... Will okay. We'll do haunted down here, assuming we can. Maybe we can't. Oops. <laughs> Didn't know I could do that. I had no idea that I could do that. Um, haunted. Let's try haunted down here. We'll do the devil last. We won't do the devil at all until we've looked at all the hauntings. I see that open elevator, by the way. I don't know if that's a new thing. Or if that's just the same elevator. I mean, it is the same elevator, but it's like, is it? No, nah, it just goes up to Zane's apartment. Um, Sure looks kind of haunted around here. Still cannot get into the stairs. I'm not particularly seeing anything going on out here. believe that you're real. Then again... Nope. Good. Okay. Um, what's the, what's the room that goes up? One right next to me. 104. So, this one. Alright, well nothing seems to be going on down here with the, with the hauntings, so let's go upstairs. I could do the devil, but like I said, I don't want to do the devil like at all until... We've seen everything um, haunting related. Uh, it's just the rehearsal room. We've already seen the ballroom. So rehearsal room haunting and then we'll go to the ballroom and we'll, we'll do devil. Uh, we actually want to go the other one. Don't we? Um, go into the room. <gasps> right. Yep. Mm, yep. The haunting of the Overlook Hotel. I keep wanting to say motel because it is. It's the, it was the original. The Overlook Motel. Is... <sighs> 
am I to conclude that Alan Wake is 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 doing this stuff to tr to try to get out of the dark place, um, <laughs> Gareth Marenghi's dark place, um, but he is actually it, what he's doing is affecting the real world as well. So Alan Wake thinks that all of this is fake. Um, that this is only in the dark place. And that, that that is the only reality that he is messing with. But actually, he is screwing a bit with real reality. And that is on top of Mr. Scratch also screwing around. Um, Tim, how you doing? I don't have anything else to, uh, talk with me about. Uh, no, I think I've gotten everything so far, except for the thing in the stairway, which I cannot get right now, as far as I know. I've gotten everything except for that. Alright, see you, Tim. Using the words. Shadow is gone. Yeah, no. Shit. Ow. God, Alan, Alan, you stupid son of a bitch. You're so slow. It takes you longer to <laughs> reload a six shooter than it does the shotgun, which seems weird. It feels like that would probably be the way it is in real life, but in a game it feels weird. Get out of here. You get out of here. You get out of here. I know you're not real. I know none of you are real. You might be real. No, you're not real. You're not real either. None of you are real. Alright. Anybody else? Let me, um, let me do one of these. Now. The devil. The devil. Out of a horror story, but I had to keep going. You fake? Nope. <laughs> uh, yes, get that one back there. No, oh, he was he was fake. You fake? They're all fake. What the hell? All right. Um. Cult people. They're all cult people. Members of the, um... Play, I'm sure. I, I know that I can use the typewriter. I, I feel like using the typewriter is practically going to, like, end this area. I don't know if that's true, but it feels like that might be true. So before I do that, we're going to look around. We're going to go do the devil. At, uh, at other locations as well, and then we will come back. Oh, Jesus. Alright, let's, um, let's go into rehearsal. I thought it was a big pool of blood for a second. <laughs> it's just a rug. It's just a rug.
the devil. Because whenever we've used the typewriter before, it's like ended the sequence. My writing was affecting reality. And um, like I said, I don't want to end things just yet. This was not the ritual murder site I was looking for. This had just been an appetizer before the main course. Um still can't still can't go into the stairs, huh? Get on the uh, the old typewriter and say, "Open the damn stairs." Weak. Yes, that's me. Every time I have to do it, every time. Um, let me. Gene, you got first. So I'm doing this. Okay, do this. I never actually went back and got that flare, but uh, it's fine. I, I mentioned it, but I never actually did it. I'm not going to right now. Listen, it's fine. If we pass by, I'll do it, but like, I'm not worried about it. A single flare. Um, of course, we are going to pass by like right now, aren't we? All right, let's go get the flare. <laughs> That's right here. It's fine. It sounded like that guy was really frustrated with me. It sounded like that guy was like, oh my god. Didn't even give him the time of day. It's 1030, by the way. See, I'm not an asshole. I'll give you the time of day. Uh, all right, let's try the devil here. This was the devil's path up the staircase. Oh. Was draped in blood. Well, we found it, but we're not done down here yet. So, are you real? You're not real. You're not real. Screw all of you. Because I want to do the, um... Jesus. What are you, jump kicking me? Are you trying to jump kick me, sir? That guy did not care that I shot him point blank with a shotgun. That guy had no cares in the world. He did not give a single shit that I shot him point blank with a shotgun. Alright. Let's try this again, shall we? Yes. Again. That is me. That the um the fake ones can actually hit me. They don't damage me, I don't think they do that. They do hit me. You know what? Uh you know what? Also there we go. Yes. Let's 
go back in here. <laughs> Ooh. All right, let's um, let's do one of these. All right. Uh, let's do this. Let's put this up here. Let's put this over here. Oops. Uh, let's do this, but then we're gonna move this back over here. Uh, we can move this in here. I know my my stuff is kind of messy. My my inventory is a little bit messy. I'm sorry. Uh, I want to look at uh, what the devil does back here. The last place for it, right? So I know I can go up the stairs now, but I want to see everything. I changed the story, and with that, the dark place changed. There. Do not disturb. Really does not want to be disturbed. I hear music. Knock knock. Hello? Tom, is that you? Tim? Tim or Tom? Oh. Alright. The devil walked through the hotel, dragging the whole place to hell with him. All right, I think that we can go. Yes, that's me. Hello. Want an autograph? No. You get get off my screen. All right, where is this? Do you think it's like down there somewhere? It's like down at the bottom somewhere. Seems like that's where it would be, but I don't know. We know there's a word. We know there's a word here. There's lots of words. Lots of words on the walls right now, but... Um, which side is it on? It's on this side, and in fact, it looks like it's on... No, it's on the next floor. Okay. Let's go up. Looks like we're actually on like, the third floor or something. I think it's down. Do you think I missed it already? I gotta check. Because that is specifically is on like the second floor. Which is uh which is up there, but like That's not, not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do this. No. So in this, I'm here. It makes me wonder if I actually need to go back to the second floor now that I've changed this. Because this is the second floor. We're on, we're on the second floor right now, except we're not technically over here, you know? go back real quick and see if this has done anything. Uh, I don't remember which one it is. I think it's this one. So it's this side. Like maybe it was here the whole time and I just didn't see it. But I really am not seeing anything. No, it has to be inside. And I can't get inside from here. Unless, uh... Got it. Great. 
Good job. That's everything, I think. That's everything I can, uh, I can get. Let us... See what this is. Uh, we're at war. So... Mm, let's do this. We, we do this more than we do multiple people with a shotgun. Looks like we do actually have to go down there some at some point. But I think we got to go upstairs first. We haven't used the typewriter yet. I'm afraid to use the typewriter because I don't want to screw things up. Um, upstairs. I just confused myself for a second. You know what? I know I'm, I'm I know I I listen. If you've seen me play games before, you know how wishy washy I am. Let's go use the typewriter. Cause the typewriter was right there. Right right when we got the, the devil. Right? So there's no way that it would like end things. Because we have to go up the stairs. Yes, that's me. Get out the way. You get out the way. I gotta use a typewriter here. This is not my writing. This is scratch no. mocking me. In this room he will hurt her. Yeah. Go on. Alright, now we can go. I should have just done that in the first place, but, you know, so far, anytime we use a typewriter, it's been, you know, an ending to that segment. Alright. So we will have to go into that room at some point, yes? Unless, do you think if I go in here and then change it while I'm in here, it'll be different? Nope. It pushed me out. The scene here had changed. It pushed me out for that one. Um, let's go to the devil again. If I, what if I do this? What if I, um, uh, haunted? It push me out again? Yeah, it pushes me out again. So we can't go in here just yet. But I think, considering it's it's friggin' like on the map. I'm going to assume that at some point we will be going in there. Ah, uh, yeah, ask me. All right, all the way up. Up we go. Dead cultists, but again, they're not—they're not real cultists, right? They're um, I felt actors. The presence of a new idea here. Mister Scratch, if that's who the actor playing the devil was, if that I is in fact your real hotel. name, asking around at reception and got me a room number. Hmm, six six six. He had requested that room specifically. Shouldn't it be 665? The, the devil had a sense of humor. Or he really didn't. 
It was funny either way. According to the director, the actor hadn't mingled with the rest of the cast. He had only come out for the play. And always in character. Well, I very much hope that room 665 is here and it's open and we can go in and there's something in there. Ah, uh, it's do not disturb. It's not openable. Ah. Uh. Oh wait, that's 655. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong door. I thought that was a six. We're not even there yet. We're not even there yet. Yep, thought it was, uh... Thought it was a thing. Alright, here we go. 662. Sixty three, sixty four. Wait, where's sixty five? Six, seven, eight. Where's sixty five? Good, sixty nine. Nice. 771. Where's 665? But where's the neighbor of the devil? 64. They should be like right here somewhere. Or here. Or here. Or across the way here. Hmm. Scratch had been here. I could sense his presence lingering in the room. I was about to have another killer idea. Let's talk about the murder victim. Let's talk about the murder. Let's talk about the murder victim. The lady who was killed in the climax of the play. The leading okay. lady. Well, it was an honor to get to work with her. A grand dame for sure. She went back a long time. Kept insisting she had seen the long lost original script of the play. She'd been with this mysterious writer, his muse. That was her role in the play. The muse. She was staying in room 108, where the murder happened. The set of the final scene, right. The devil comes, an unstoppable force crashing through the hotel through each scene, executed with devastating mastery. And all leading up to him, meeting his muse. It turns out he knew her. He had only joined the play to get to her. To murder her. Run! Oh god, I'm stuck! Oh god! Uh, <laughs> oh no! Well, that's not good. Also, not good. Less good. Not too good. In here. I don't actually know where I'm going, by the way. <laughs> I had to reach the light. The dark presence had come for me. Well, on to the story I was writing as it grew darker. Thing I gotta put away. Nope. Where the hell am I now? Don't know. The muse was the murder victim. 
The final scene took place in room 108. Right, here I am. Rocky like a hurricane. Um, let's go in here. Is there anything else that I have yet to do? I don't believe so. We've done everything here. We've got everything. We just need to get into 108 somehow. Climax. We can do climax everywhere. Okay. Well, we'll do climax everywhere before we go into 108. <laughs> we'll, we'll climax everywhere before we go to 108. The scene changed with the story. Uh, this way. I needed to find the muse, the murder victim, room 108. I need to. I've had enough of that freaking gumshoe dick asking too many freaking questions. Not letting us proper police take care of it. This is our chance to make Sounds like Thornton and Mulligan. Be happy. We'll be set for life. Part of the inner circle. Well, amen to that, partner. I like it. And so the paternity, the club, the word. Our dear friends with many names. The way I see it, it was a lone nut job. A junkie out of his mind on some fancy new designer drug. Open and shut case. All we gotta do now is dump the evidence from room 108 in the usual place in the alley. Noted. Um... Let's go upstairs and look at climax. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go climax upstairs. I know they want me to go to room 108. I want to go to room 108 because that's the only place in the hotel that we haven't been to yet. But um, you know, I also want to climax all over the place. Don't you want to do that in a, in a hotel? <laughs> Whenever you stay in a hotel, isn't that what you want to do? Climax all over the place. Alright. Let's see. Yeah. It's time for applause. New here. No, nothing. I could click on that, but it like just nothing. Nothing happened. I did press A on it. All right, let's try the ballroom then. I'm glad Tim is is here and he's safe. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of it. Wake. Yes. Are you real? Pretty sure you are. Oh, no, you're not real. Okay. Good to know. The dirty cops would make sure none of this would be traced back to their diabolical masters hiding in the dark. So I'm still kind of not sure. I don't know. It's, it, are they are they involved with the word? Is the word good or bad? Because I'm 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 still thinking that it is possible the, the cult of the word is is good. It could also be possible that they are bad and that um, they intercept the the taken as they come out of the lake to get the the pages. Like that's the that's the whole point. 
then why not just have the taken, you know, deliver the pages. All right, we got to, um, we got to go back. What the story needed. Uh, back downstairs because we're done. We're we're ready to climax in room one hundred eight. There's Tom. I um I can't see anything if I don't. There's a tunnel, the subway tunnel, which we've seen before. There's I'm trying not to like too much glare. I guess that's the city. And that's also the city? I don't know. I I do know. Very wet in here. Someone left the faucet on. That's the um, that's Thor's song, right? Anger's remorse. Sounds like. Was the disc in the tub? Are we in Valhalla? Lost on the shore between the forest and the ocean, the owl and the deer reflected in motion in his room. He will hurt her. In hers, he is caught. His story ends. Her story does not. This is the ritual to lead you on. Your friends will meet him when you are gone. This was the murder site. Was there like was a, a record at the bottom of the bathtub. Beneath the body. Somehow it was important. Oh my god. That's Cynthia? It was in her bathtub, right? Somehow I was closer to home. Closer than ever before. It's you again. The FBI agent. Saga Anderson. I'm closer now. I can feel it. You help me get closer to escaping. Wake? How are I still trapped? We have the clicker. We can... You know about the clicker. It can help us. I destroyed the dark presence with it last time. You can help. You can find it. You must find it. I can get it to you. I have to understand. Did you write the story? Alice is in danger. I have to stop Scratch. I have to find Return. I need to get back to my apartment. I'm writing a story to get through. Initiation. It's the only way. The story. You can do that, Jessica. You can write out. She didn't even hear anything that it lasted only she said moment, practically. Like two planets passing in orbit. Saga Anderson was helping me. Helping me go deeper. Closer to escape. Somehow. I had to trust her. Parliament Tower. I had to get back to my apartment. My study. I had to find the manuscript of her turn.
It's uh, it's the same song every time, by the way. Every time for for Ellen. So. What Alan is doing in here is definitely affecting what Saga is doing and can do. But what Saga is doing is also affecting Alan. So they're like helping each other. But there are still so many uh, 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 mysteries. There are still so many questions. Our limit tower was here again. Zane said the manuscript of return was the key to escaping. I had to get it before Scratch did. Here's the question. Here's here's my question to you. Should I switch? Or should I keep on going with Alan? I can switch right now. Or I keep going with Alan. Um If we go to Saga, there's gonna be a lot of faffing. Because there's a lot of things to faff with. Um in in because we have the bolt cutters now of course as soon as we get into the city proper things are going to happen because things are happening there um let's switch i'm up for some i'm up for some faff I feel like we're doing basically Saga's uh, sections first, and then we're following it with, with Alan's sections, you know? That's kind of what it feels like. Nighttime. Um, so we have these two things to grab, which we will do. Then as and then we'll probably go to the boatyard and then exit out into the city. Um and then once we're in the city, things might be happening. We'll see. Um if it allows me to go to other places, like if 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 there's nothing super pressing in the city, um I might go ahead and go back to watery and 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 unlock things with the bolt cutters. It is too dark for my liking out here. It is way too dark out here. Especially because there's friggin' wolves. There's friggin' wolves. Alright, so we got... Another locked box. There's another cult stash. Are we being stalked right now? Yes, we are. Sir, you are being hunted. Come on then. There you are. I see you. don't last forever. Um, alright. <sighs> Just says light. Uh, this way. This way. Down. I think that's a down. I stand here. 
down. This way. This way. Down. But there's... Ah. Uh. Um... Hourglass. I can't tell what this is meant to be pointing to. There's nothing here. I mean, we know one of them is an hourglass. We know we know that much. Uh, left, right. Down. Again, there's nothing here. Ah. And, uh, the two, the two symbols. So, one of them is the hourglass, one of them is this, right? This left, right? One of them is the, the symbol. So we just gotta figure out what the, um... Order is. It is this one, right? Am I not? Yeah. So we tried this both ways. So now let's try this. Our glass. So then it must be this. There we go. Great, great, and great. Now my inventory is full. We just got word that the feds have Alan Wake in custody. He came out of the lake. He's dangerous. Everyone, everyone be on high alert. We need to take the writer out. Spread the word. Spread the word. All right, and now we go over here. I would love to search for more um, lunch boxes as well, but not in this weather. Not in this weather. By weather, I mean time of day. I can't even see him over there. I want him to move. I want him to get out of there. Get out of the bushes, sir. Okay. 
Okay. I think that's all of them. Jesus. Uh, did I get my arrows? Probably. I'm actually gonna go back because my inventory is full. Let me go back real quick. I won't heal because I wonder if I'm gonna get a little bit of healing if I, you know, go in here first. Fine. Um, so much stuff. Rocket flare. These only uh, stack to one. Oh, that's not good. What's not good? Oops. Go. Um, that's fine. We'll just put this over here. Let's actually. Here. Go. Um, let's do this. And then we will grab we go and we'll put this here. And you know what? Uh we'll put this too. Desperately need to get another um Inventory slot thing. All right. Uh. Oh, I didn't actually heal. Oops. There we go. Now, quick save. Now we go. Get this other stash, and then we'll get the hell out of here. And we come back when it's light out, and we can actually see where some lunch boxes are. These guys are back again. These guys re respawn already. We'll fight him in a minute. They following me. They following me all, all the way all the way over here. No, they left. Great. Wonderful. Limu. Location, uh, Ranger Station 1, Rangers 1, Bunker Woods 2, Boatyard 1, Test Sites in Bright Falls. Okay. Uh, Manning your stations from Dr. Campbell. It has come to my attention that both of you have left your posts on several occasions while on duty to gallivant around on personal business. This is unacceptable. You are under strict FPC protocols regarding covertness and confidentiality, and as your superior, I am responsible for your conduct at all times. If you find the work boring, too bad. You are to fulfill your roles and duties as I see fit and as the project requires. I am changing your posts. I'll be overseeing the watery area as it now has the most test sites to cover. 
The Ranger Cabin, there will be uh, there will be my base of operations. Vega, you are moving to Cauldron Lake's Witchfinder Station. Michaels, you are staying in the Bright Falls Station. I don't want to hear any excuses, but I need do need you to acknowledge these orders. Dr. Eugene Campbell, PhD, love and kisses. Um, what does it say? Lead researcher, Department of Parafictional Research. We, we already know that. Uh, Dr. Campbell acknowledged and understood that goes for both of us, Michaels and me. It was really, it really was not gallivanting as he put it, though, as I was attacked by some rabid animal out there in the woods, and Michaels helped me get medical attention in town. You should know all that. You should know all that, and if if you read your messages, of course. In any case, orders received. More of messages, those Dr. Campbell. Um, let's wait. Eh, let's read it. Read it first, and then we'll go upstairs. A child needs their mother to keep them safe and a home as their hiding place. Because outside the monsters roam and chase. When they ring your doorbell, don't yell. Don't tell them to go away. Give them treats and pray. They won't rock your house down to the ground. Okay. We'll... Sound. We'll uh, attempt to solve that one in a second. I just want to see. Oh. Hello, dear. Hello. And that deer has uh, its antlers kind of in the ceiling a little bit. <laughs> Maybe a little too high. Foggy mirror. Nothing else uh, going on here. This is a hunter's cabin. Well, it's, it's, a, it's a ranger's cabin, is what it said. I know, but they have pictures of hunters. All right. Um. So the child goes here. I think the mother probably goes into the heart. Nope. No. Okay. Needs a mother to keep them safe. But I think the child still goes there. Because outside the monsters roam and chase. Give them treats. So the monster. Over here. Yes. Hello? My DoorDash order here? Finally going to be something in the bathroom. Um, keep going back out. Oh, lots of charms lying around here. <laughs> yeah. Just lying around. It's another one of those, uh, yeah, saves my death. Eh, I haven't been using those. I Maybe I should, but I don't know. They don't feel that useful to me. Like, in comparison to, like, anything else that I could put in the in my very limited amount of charm slots. That looks nice from here. Um, it just doesn't feel like it's that useful, you know? Ranger Station stash key. Hot damn. I just solved this puzzle without even uh, thinking about it. Solved this puzzle with the power of good old exploration. Now I have to just find the 
stashed. <laughs> it's up here somewhere. Here. There it is. Another one of those cult boxes. Yeah, it's um by the chimney, I see. But I got it. So. Uh, sure, sure, sure. It took me forever to figure out the hint wasn't Santa's butt. Why are we making this so complicated? Just give us normal fucking keys. Go over here. It's safe. Keep it secret, keep it safe. Um, I think that we're done here. I'm sure that there's, like, something else here to, to look at, to find. I'm sure there's a, there's a, um, you know, a, 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 a lunchbox or two out here somewhere, or, or up here. But, um, for the moment... I think we're just gonna go back. Get the clicker to wake and make him fix his attempt to play God. I still That's think that that wake is is scratch. The see have him. I still think it's possible. Take the writer out. Uh. <clears throat> more, more, more. Uh, story still can't use these. Cult stashies. These are all. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Wow, I'm missing three still in the Bright Falls area. Why do I know that? I'm missing one in Cauldron Lake. And I'm only missing one in Watery. Nursery Rhymes. Uh, Bright Falls. I'm still missing two in the Bright Falls area. I'm missing three, four, four in Watery, two in Cauldron Lake, and I'm missing one strange doll. Well, I have plenty of opportunity to find more strange dolls. Okay. I'm missing... One in Watery, three in Bright Falls, two in Cauldron Lake. Um, how many stashes am I missing again? Is it, am I only missing one stash in, um... In Bright Falls? No, I'm missing three in Bright Falls. Mm. Right. Oh, did I find another lunchbox already? No. Thought this was colorful lunchbox eggs. It's not. Might as well search up here. There must be... Oh, look at what we got. More of those kids' lunch boxes. Uh, where? <laughs> there it is. I was going to leave you some cookies, but I was worried an animal would get into them, so I didn't. But it's the thought that counts. Right? 
eight. Still missing a couple of lunch boxes in here, but I bet that there is a lunch box. Oh, I bet that there's a lunch box or something. Sorry, mouse. Uh, here on the beach somewhere, uh, and possibly here, as well, or up here, because we didn't really look up here. We got something kind of like around here, I think. I didn't think that we went here though, because we couldn't we couldn't pass this this area right here before. Now we can. Dark as shit out here. Uh, down to the beach or up to here? Let's go up to here. Why does this exist? This area. Like, there's a path leading, like, right up here, but there's nothing here that I can see. Uh, loots? No. Don't see any. I don't see any down there, but that doesn't mean there's nothing down there. Um, let's go ahead and go check the beach first. Oops, sorry. We'll go down. I did say it was going to be a lot of faffing if I went to uh, if I went to Saga. I did say that, and here we are. Baffing a lot. Right. I don't want to follow this path too far. Go off. To the beach. Right near the beach, boy! Oh, did I find another uh, thing? Oh, another rhyme. <laughs> Me and Saga, we're, we're in sync right now. To the beach, a child went wandering. Pretty shiny rock she's gathering, but from the water, a monster rose. A horrible beast with a pointy nose, a flapping wing and dragging toes. But the child was wrong. It was her mother all along, on a boat grabbing a towel that's already gone. So, <laughs> I mean, the mother, I guess, is here. What's a beach? Like, what is what? What of these is a beach? She didn't say it was wrong, though. Is it her mother on the boat? And the child was here? No. Should it be a monster here? No. I didn't think so, but... Again, like, what is... I feel like I have to put the child on a beach here somewhere. But, like... <laughs> nah. Yeah, I didn't think so. Hmm. Okay.
Hello? Did I just spawn a bunch of... Yes, I did. Oh, no. It's one of these. What? She turned me around. She turned me. She turned me around, I think. To... Nope. Uh. Eat hot flare, lady. I don't even get my arrow back. My arrow's gone forever. Well then. Where's my reward? Where's my where's my charm? Oh look, I got an arrow back. One. Just one. That is a huge mug. It's not even real. It's not even a real mug. Oh, this is it. What do you mean no? Oh, for God's sake. Uh, you know what I can do? There we go. A charm for my bracelet. Increases effectiveness of painkillers and trauma pads. Not bad. What do I have now? Um, increases quality and quantity. Increases maximum health. Well, I want maximum health increase. That's for goddamn sure. Um... In here. More arrows. This is fine. <sighs> I feel like we're closer to this one now at this point. So let's um let's explore up here. Uh and then up here as well. My mouse is my mouse. Up here as well. And then maybe we can get up there, or maybe we'll have to go around either way. We'll uh deal with that. Drop some stuff off. So this goes to the boatyard, which is it is where we want to go next, but. Explore up here. Like I said, we couldn't get here before. Oh, oh. <laughs> then again, look, we've been here before. Um, so never mind. Oops. Let's just go to this save point up here. Let's put some stuff away, and then we'll come back. We'll go across the bridge. This isn't even the right way, is it? Nope. Listen, I wasn't having a stroke, I swear. I see you. I know you're coming for me. But I'll tell you what, I don't care. I'm just gonna go. Yes, I know. I know that I, we just played a bunch of Alan Wake game. We just played a bunch of Alan Wake. I don't need to play anymore right now. Oh my 
God, our inventory is. <laughs> it's, it's very full right now. Are you guys trying to come at me right now? I would love to put some more stuff away. Let's put this um, here. Here. You know what? Let's do this. I guess we'll keep one of these for now. Um, our inventory is full right now. Our inventory is completely full right now. We're going to have to get start getting rid of stuff. Let's get rid of this some more. Let's get rid of more of these. We, we never use these. Uh, we do actually need to have some of these because we don't have any of these in our inventory right now, which we have to have this here. It's fine. We'll get through these these four bullets in a in you know in a short order. Uh, we can do this. There we go. That clears up some inventory. Um. So we're just going back down here, around, and across this bridge. We're going. Can't believe it didn't kill him. is not the best. Where are you? What we're actually going to do is just run. <laughs> just run through. We don't need to fight these guys. We don't. You missed. Be another lunchbox around here. It's great. Where that? This way? Up here? And another lunchbox. And another page as well. Rose woke up from another dream from her idol. Another message. All through her morning routine, she was humming happily. So happily, she realized she was starting to forget what Alan had told her. Something about a hero who would come to save them all. And the hero? Rose frowned. This won't do, Rose Marigold. You know better than to forget. Something about knitwear. The hero? Liked it? Rose nodded, determined. She'd use the knitwork to guide the hero to the secret stashes she had hid in the forest to help them. Knitwear to mark the spot. Alan will love that, she thought. Now she only needed the knitwork. Rose thought hard. Mandy May was always knitting. Mandy May would help her. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> the woods were dark. 
I held my breath. I could hear heavy footsteps out among the trees. I know that this is Rose, and I know that the, this person, this narrator, is probably a, uh, a woman. And yet, I choose to read it like this anyway. I was scared. My heart beat in my chest like a small bird fluttering against its cage. I shivered. I was cold, too. The wolves were after me. I saw a shape emerge from the trees. It was a menacing large shape, a bad shape. It looked at me with evil, glowing eyes. I gasped. No. It had seen me. It growled and lurched toward me. I ran. I ran and ran and ran until running became hard, too hard to do. I couldn't run anymore, so I stopped running. I could feel the monster's hot breath on my neck. It was too late. It was, I was too afraid to turn around. It was about to get me. I was goner for sure. I ran again. I'd never been so scared. Not ever. This was the end. I wish someone, anyone, would come to save me. But they didn't, Rose, did they? Why is that? Why is that, Rose? Um. Okay. Into Billy's boat. Boatyard. Go in like a side entrance here. Go in the back way. Yon boatyard. There has to be something like out here somewhere. Go in here? Nope. I'll take those. I do actually need more regular bullets. in here this is uh yeah this is the entrance to the town which I don't want to do yet oh another one of those rhymes another one okay what do we got five little monsters out on the sea competing to see who the winner will be they rock their boats to find out who floats until one little monster did fall Mama called out to the sea and cried, and the sea, she replied, on the bottom they will rot if they will not stop rocking their boats. It's not, it's a little bit of a... Number one, the last couple kind of, it doesn't follow, it doesn't follow a, a, a rhythm, it doesn't follow a pattern well enough. Yes, sir. Um... Mother. Keep trying. No? Well, they're here then? Nope. Um. All right, here's what, here's what I'm gonna do. Monster here. That's not right. No. I'm pretty sure the monster is. Doesn't is make here. sense. Shut up, Saga. You don't know what makes sense. Is it a child? And the uh, and the mother. Hmm. And monster. Doesn't look right. <laughs> right. Um. Could be a child there. It's either a child or a monster. I mean, I know that the the rhyme is kind of you know it's 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 supposed to be kids playing out on you know on the sea. Uh. You know, stop horsing around, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I've already tried this. Ugh. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Um. I don't think it's anything else. I think it's just either the mother or the, no. or the monster. No. Uh. Think, Saga. I am thinking. I am thinking. Ugh. Doesn't look right. That's it. Oh, Jesus. So something out there in the in the boat. I'll go look at that in a second. As soon as I finish checking out here, there appears to be not a goddamn thing out here. All right. 
Can I just like borrow this backpack so I can have more inventory space? No. Hey, bud. I missed. I was trying to go for a headshot. Didn't work, though. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I forgot. I didn't, I didn't reload it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'll get that in a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Wait. Wait a minute. Oh God, there's a million things here. <laughs> oh my God. How? There you go. I see you. I see you. Ow. Amazing. Ow. What if I, um, oh god, what if I, uh... Did we do this? <laughs> what if I, um, great. What if I, uh... Ow? What if I, um... <laughs> Cheeky little heel? Cheeky little heel? Is that two of them? Right, Saga. Anytime. Anytime now, Saga. She takes... Saga takes longer to reload the friggin' shotgun than Alan Wake does. Can never have too many charms. What is it? Uh, chance to stun enemy on flashlight boost. Eh. I mean, they kind of already get stunned on flashlight boost, so not the best. Oh, for a gun I'm not using right now? That's fine. You know, I can always switch to the gun. Of course, it takes up a lot more inventory space. But it's fine. I wonder if I can find that uh, arrow that I put in here. That must have gone flying. It must have gone real, real far out. All right. Um... Over here, real quick. We haven't actually been over here before. Is there light up there? There is. There's a bit of light over here. I don't think that this is particularly where we want to go, though. Yeah, we've been here before. All right, let's just go into the city, I guess. City. It's not a city. It's a town. It's a village at best. It's going to run. Listen, I'm just gonna go into into the boatyard here, fellas. Hope you don't mind. Hamlet.
it's just there's no church. I thought there was a church in here. All right, we're here. We're in town. And there's just regular people here, it looks like, because I'm not holding my gun. Um, that's fine. Let's go in here, because... Hello? I neglected to go in here, I think. Yeah. Somebody didn't want me to come, I can tell. Not like the trip is even helping. I thought getting out of the city would inspire me, but Bright Falls is just a bunch of trees and empty storefronts. I need to find something. I'm tired of writing one-act plays about how shitty the world is. I thought a, so I thought scathing social commentary would make me feel like a real artist, but I don't know. It's not me. I don't know. I don't know. I want to write something weird. Something really out there. Something authentic, but what? Will you keep it down over there, lady? Fuck this town. I don't even want to get into what happened last night. It's weird, though. Sitting here in the hotel room, some pieces are starting to fall together. An idea for a new play. A space cult. Burning down the galaxy in some misguided search for TBD. A lone man, an artist, wandering the stars until his destiny puts him straight in the cult's path. All black cast? A musical? A rock opera? Why not all of the above? Page. We'll read them, don't worry. Lady. <laughs> don't want to get in that bad. I'll just bust in. Uh, unread. Ed returns to Cauldron Lake. Ed been the same since his latest show had closed. This wasn't the first time one of his productions had shuttered early. Scathing social commentary in a one-act play wasn't exactly filling seats. When Tammy told him she was taking a research trip to Bright Falls, he decided to tag along. Ed told her he wanted to find inspiration. Really, he just wanted a break from the city. But it was true that he certainly needed to find something. A voice, a direction, an idea, something authentic to himself. Ed knew he couldn't keep using Tammy's money to fund his playwriting. After the argument with Tammy, Ed stormed out of the diner and drove their rental car back to Cauldron Lake to prove a point. Now standing in the dark woods, the sun hidden by the trees, Ed wished he could remember what that point was. Something about masculinity. He cursed at himself and turned to go. Suddenly, he was blinded by a light in his face. Voices shouted and hands pushed him to the ground. Ed struggled in vain. Also... Is it Tammy rides the ferry? Tammy tapped her pen on her notebook. Alan Wake had ridden this same ferry into town when he arrived. This was his entry into Bright Falls. His first steps across the threshold. She wrote that down. She always found it helpful to walk in the victim's shoes. Do what they did. See what they saw. It added great color to the book. Tammy felt raindrops on her face. God, again? She pulled up her hood. The rain just kept coming. She missed New York. So far, this hadn't been the simple research trip she pictured. First the incident at the lake, then the fight with Ed. It's not Are these surprising the, tempers um, got hot. They were both on edge after what had happened. The people at the diner said some things that we talked to? Things she regretted. She looked out over the harbor. A chill passed through her. She hoped Ed wouldn't do anything stupid. I think it is. I think it is, you know. Lunch boxes. We're only missing one lunch box from the Bright Falls area. I hope it's not out there in the, um, the boonies, but we'll see. Uh, well. Hey, we got all the uh, Bright Falls rhymes. Noise. Lady.
Hey. They're not answering. I mean, if you want in that bad, just no. go talk to the to the uh, guy in the desk. Uh, ma'am, can I help you with something? No. I'm an FBI agent. I'm just saying. Um. Okay. Let's look around here. Cause we can get here in the in the back of this and we can get the stash. Oh, there's a stash here too. Take a look at that. 